Hello and welcome back to Journey Beyond. Today I will be previewing a product by We Are Memory Keepers and it is their foil quill. So they've come out with a few products in the past with foil quill. They have a few different versions of it. They have, I think, foil quill, quill singe, which is um, um, done on wood. And then they have the foil quill that you used with your cutting machines for like Brother and Cricut and uh, the Silhouette machine. So now they had just come out with a product on HSN um, for the cordless freestyle pen for foil quill. So we're gonna review that today, you guys, and we're gonna test a few um, different mediums to see how it works. And so to start off, uh, this is a foil qu quill packaging uh, you get from HSN. I took everything out. So you have the pen. This is a pen that you get with it. And it does operate on two AAA batteries. And then you have a roll of foil. So it does come with a gold heat foil right there. So just FYI, so as I'm starting this, just so you guys know, so the, he the heat is heat activated foil. So it's very important that you guys understand that because if you just try to use regular foil, it does not work. So you need the heat activated foil. So it does come with a gold tone, um, heat activated foil, the cordless pen. And then this particular set from HSN, if you order it, it also comes with some additional rolls of heat activated foil. You get 60 sheets, they're four by six sheets of heat activated foil, six of each color, which includes red, hot, pink, pink, light pink, rose gold, purple, light blue, light green, and green, and then the instructions on how it works. So those, um, they usually come in like a package like this. So you can see right here is the four by six foil sheets. I got a couple different sets, you guys. So I got the main set, which is the foil quill here with the cordless pen. And then I also got two bundle items that um, go, <coughs> that work with this particular product. I got the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Seasonal Bundle, which I'm going to show you here in a second. And then I also got the um, We Are Memory Keepers Sentiment Foil Quill Bundle. So each set of the other two that I'm mentioning come with cards and then it comes with foils as well and it also comes with sentiments and stencils so for the let's see the sentiment foil quill bundle it comes with I'm going to show you right here I'm going to just bring up the details I have my uh, tablet on the side of me so you guys can see so this particular set comes with um, some cards right here and then it comes with the envelopes the four by six sheets of foil it comes with some tracing paper and it comes with the stencils. So I'm going to read off the description here. So you get four seven by seven stencils, uh, five seven by seven traceable sheets, 12 four by seven cardstock sheets, three of each mint pink, cream, and white. You get eight four by five by six by two five score and folded cards, which come in white cream white and cream with eight envelopes. And then you get 40 sheets of the four by six foil sheets, 10 of each, gold, silver, mint, and pink. So this is this here. So you can see the foil is in this package here. And then you have the cards and then the envelopes there. And then you also have the traceable sheets, which are right here. So they have a lot of different sentiments on here. You have love, all the good vibes. I love you, you're my fave. Be good, do good, see good in all things, live, love, explore. It would all be okay. Oh my darling, always be brave, happy moments, etc. So these are really fun when I first saw these, especially if you don't have pretty handwriting because I definitely do not. Um, so these are tracing sheets and then you have four seven by seven stencils here. So these say like, keep dreaming, be brave, be kind today. Um, what else do we have? The future is bright, choose joy, home sweet home, happy day. And then make it happen, you are so great. And then this last one has, life is tough, but so are you, oh happy day. Celebrate every tiny victory. So we are going to try out a couple of these today. And then I also have a couple of different mediums like I mentioned earlier to see if they actually 
work on those surfaces. So um, if you do go on HSN, there are mixed reviews about this product, just like anything else, right? So some people like it, some people don't. But we're gonna do, we're gonna try them all today just to see what you guys think and if it's something that you think you would like to purchase or if you think it's worth it. So I'm just going to bring up the details of the other bundle that I got. So this next one is the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Seasonal Bundle. So this one has, as the description um, states, these are seasonal things. So in this one you have four plastic stencils, five traceable paper sheets, score color, score and folded cards, envelopes. You have the 44 by six foil sheets that come in gold, red, green, and rose gold. And then you have gift tags in this next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you. Okay, so we have some of the gift tags right here. You can see right off the top, they're already pre-cut in all these different colors. And then we have envelopes, white envelopes. We have some pre-folded cards that are already scored and folded for us. And then we have the foil. So these come in, in a variety of colors. I didn't open the other one. I guess I can open this one and see what it looks like. So in the original foil quill bundle, it comes with foil sheets just like this too, but I think I put them away somewhere. But so there's, you guys can see, they're kind of, you have your reds, your golds, your green, and then your rose gold right there. So I'm gonna put this back in the packaging and I am going to um, say something about this in just a few minutes and my experience in heat activated foil. Let me see if I can get this back in the package, you guys. Give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So that took a, a second to get them back in there. So now I'm gonna open this packaging that has the seasonal uh, traceable elements. So these are the traceable sheets you get with the seasonal bundle. So you have all is common bright, you have a couple of gingerbread men and women, gingerbread house, peace, love, you have a rabbit, a rainbow, a heart, joy, let it snow. And then you have some Halloween elements in there. You have a cat, a spider web, a pumpkin. You have the moon and the stars. I really like that one. Give thanks, a little ghost, some acorns. Good times, you have a dove. I think that's a dove, some type of bird there. You have a beach theme, you have an umbrella, a beach ball. Hello with a little sunshine some sunglasses and then you have some stencils so you have a nice Halloween witch and then you have a pumpkin a spider gather thankful sunshine USA and then you have like some popsicles and ice cream and then you actually have the the US it's interesting and then you have some Christmas ones you have a reindeer some Christmas trees a snowman merry and bright and this last one you have, darling, love you. You have a little butterfly, a bunny, and then you have a little um, Cupid right there. Okay, you guys, so first I'm just going to do some basic ones we're gonna try out. So I'm gonna start with some cardstock. I already have a sheet that's all ready to go that I taped previously. So if you go on the HSN website, you're going to see a demonstration that's been performed um, that they did live on craft day and they actually do um, a demo so you can see um, to write your um, gorgeous foil uh, sentiments so this is from the sentiment kit and I'm just gonna go right over this and for this I'm gonna add just a little bit more pressure and go a little bit more slowly because the papers on top of the foil but it's going to turn out beautiful. And the thing is too, Suzanne, is you could do this at home. You could print this, um, you know, you could print on your own vellum or tracing paper or thin copy paper yeah. and use any of your designs that you already have. You could use a photo. We had one where someone traced a photo 
um, onto their project, and it looked amazing. All right, so oh, that's nice. there's that, and then take a look. That looks great. Look at that. There's the whole thing. I didn't want to take time to do that whole process, but Beautiful. that's what it ends up with. And then watch this. All you have to do is add your stickers, your die cuts, your washi tape, and wow. I mean, just look at that. The gold really speaks for itself. It's kind of a statement piece on your projects. All right, you guys. So I wanted to try something basic. I'm going to try... I'm just going to write some words and then we're going to try doing a, um, a traceable sheet and then we'll do a stencil and then we'll see how it comes out. So when I watched the demo on HSN, they said that they weren't really applying any pressure. It was just very light pressure. It also comes, I forgot to point out in the packaging, it comes with a standard tip and then also a fine tip. So I'm using the standard tip. And then this is the fine tip right here. So that's if you want to get like, I guess, really fancy and then I don't know, do some fine detail, but this is just the standard tip right here. You guys can see that. And then, so when you guys turn this on, so it just is like just a little push button right here. Let me zoom out, it's a little too close. Sorry guys, whoops, wrong way. Okay, so it just has like a little push button here. It does take two AAA batteries. So when you're just going to push it on and then you're going to see like a little red light. Can you guys see that red light? So they said when you see the red light, you're going to let it heat up for one to two minutes. So we're just going to set that aside for right now. And then I'm going to take this out and I'm going to just, we're going to look at the fine tip. So this is the fine tip right here. So I guess this would maybe you'd be used more if you wanted to write, maybe write your name or sign a card, something like that. Or if you have, like I said, some fine details, yeah, but we can try both of them today so we can see what that looks like. And the standard tip, I would, I'm assuming, I guess it's more to fill in um, some of these bigger words, like these, this block lettering you have in the stencils or on the traceable um, paper here. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna start, I am gonna start with the cardstock. And we're gonna see if it's hot enough. So I'm just gonna write some words. So I'm gonna write, first word I'm gonna write, let's see, I'm gonna write love. So I'm just gonna write love like this. Okay, so we're gonna look at it when I'm done. So you guys, so that's love. And then I'm gonna take, let's see, let's do a traceable, some traceable paper. So I was a little confused about how this worked because obviously you can't put the traceable paper under the foil because you wouldn't be able to see it. So you obviously have to put it on top of the foil, but then again, I, I was thinking like, is it too thick? Is the heat going to transfer through? So we're gonna find that out, okay, you guys? So let's do something really basic that's not gonna be too hard um, for me to, to demonstrate. That's not gonna take too long. I'll do... Let's see, you guys. Um, I'll do this flower right here, okay? So we're gonna do that flower. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place, I'm gonna try to get it like kind of right next to love, the word love that I wrote. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace it. Like this is kind of like when we were back in, you know, when you're in grade school and you're learning to write the alphabet remember when you were like learning to write cursive and they had those those books that you would um that had like the little dotted lines and you would trace them and then you know it would kind of help you start it and then eventually you would just write your own letters you know to teach you how to do it so this, this is what this reminds me of okay so i did the outline now on this particular one, guys, I'm not gonna fill this one in. We'll do another one where I filled it in. So I'm just doing the outline of the flower. So that's a traceable, you guys can see it right there, right? Ooh, it is hot, so be careful. That just touched the end of my finger. Be careful, the end of this is extremely hot. So we trace the flower there, and then let's do another one where we can actually fill in. But I wanna do something kind of small. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, I guess I could do the sun or the butterfly. 
I'll do the sun. That'll be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just place it right next to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trace that. So this one I am gonna fill in, like I said. Um, so I'm applying moderate pressure. I'm not pushing real hard, but I'm pushing enough where I think that the heat would be able to penetrate through the traceable paper as well as the heat activated foil onto the cardstock. So I'm just doing my rays here. So, whoops. So don't forget you guys like where you started, which whatever you're tracing, make sure you're paying attention to like what, um, where, where you started so you don't trace over it again. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter, but trace that and then we're gonna trace this inner part. So the inner part I'm actually going to color in. No, actually, we're do, let's do the inner ring. So we're just gonna do the inner ring because that's a big area. So like I said, this is a little difficult for me only because you can't really see. You can kind of see um, as you're, as you're um, coloring this, so to speak. You can kind of see the indent, the indentations on the paper that you're making, right? You can see it kind of flatten, and then you can kind of see the scribbly lines. So I'm not gonna do anything, like I'm not trying to make it exact, I'm just trying to see if we can get like, you know, an image there. Okay, so I did the sun. Okay, I did the sun. And then now we're gonna try a stencil. So let's see, for the stencil, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do something too, cause this is block lettering. So this is gonna take me probably a minute to, to um, fill in. And I kinda wanna do a word. I mean, I would love to just do something easy like the leaf there, cause it wouldn't take as much time. But I do want to do a word so we can actually see the full um, results of what it can do or not do. So let's do sweet. I'm going to do the word sweet. So I'm just going to place that. See, this is a little easier because I can kind of see through it here. I'm going to do that right there. Let me move. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm out of view. Okay. So I'm gonna kinda just place this under the other ones that I did. So this is on car cardstock, you guys. This is on about, this is probably 230 GSM cardstock. See here, I'm just gonna kinda fill in, you know, like just coloring and just lightly pushing, just light pressure, light to medium pressure, nothing exciting. And I'm not really trying to get it to be perfect, I'm just, doing it enough so it will show up on the cardstock. And here I like because you can actually see what you're doing with the stencil opposed to the tracing paper. And so this is so far pretty easy. It feels it feels nice and smooth. I don't feel any like resistance, anything like that. So again, we're just kind of filling in the the areas and I guess you know if you did put more pressure obviously you're going to get more of the foil on there but I wouldn't do that because you don't want to rip the paper underneath or um, the foil on the top I don't know I just like to use light to medium pressure I don't really try to push down too hard now I have had luck with the foil quill pens um, I've used it on my Cricut and I've also used it on my brother's scan and cut and they've made beautiful things. But again, it's a, I would say it's a hit and miss because some of it comes out just wonderful and it's perfect. And then there's other areas that, that just miss. So, okay. So we pretty much covered that. You can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn my pen off. So the thing about this, I will tell you, so I have played with it a little bit before making this video just to, so I could get the idea of how it worked. So remember you guys, you are using a battery. So when it's constantly on and you're not using it, it's gonna drain that battery. So just keep that in mind, okay? So here is the reveal. So we're gonna see how well it did. So I put some low tack tape here 
I'm just gonna gently. So um, if you guys are not familiar with heat activated foil, so once you use it, the other areas, like say the whole sheet, you didn't use the whole sheet, you just use the areas that I used right here, that I used over here. What you can do is you can just cut that area out and you can still save the rest of it to use it. But I do have something to tell you about that in just a minute. Okay, so here we go guys. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda lay that down. I'm gonna bring this up so you can see it. So the writing came out pretty good, my freehand writing. Um, the tracing came out pretty decent. The sun of the tra the tracing of the sun came out okay. I did try to color in this area right here. It didn't do so well there. And then on the word sweet, it did decently, but um, on the W, I noticed there's like obviously some bald spots and in the S2, towards the end, it came out a little bit better um, as far as like completing the letter. So I'm gonna look, we're gonna look up the foil up close as well. So now you can kind of see it a little bit better and then you can see kind of where um, the foil still is. So on the sun, so we're gonna look at the sun right here. So on the sun, you can see how inside the ring that we tried to color, it is still, there's a lot of foil there. And that could just be due to it not going through the paper all the way, me not applying enough pressure or there just wasn't enough heat. And then the word here through the stencil, I think it came out pretty good. Like this one, I feel like you could kind of <clears throat> place that back down on top, but I think it'd be kind of hard to line up perfectly once you took it off. But what you could do is you could just, um, if you wanted to go back over it, just put, you know, a new piece of foil and then just do it again if you wanted to. So if you wanted to put a clean piece of foil and then you can place exactly over again and then you'd be able to get that word in there completely. So I do like the stencils. Um, the traceable paper is, I think it's a hit or miss just because, like I said, like the flower came out good but the sun, the tracing of the sun came out good, but not so much the color on the inside of the ring. So that's cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same piece of foil because we can still use the bottom and we're gonna try it on some other mediums. So in the advertisement on HSN, they said that you could use, um, you could use, let's see, they said cardstock, vellum, acetate, wood, chipboard plastic like luggage tags plastic so we're gonna see you guys if you can now let's talk for just a second about some of the materials that you can use um, you can foil on because that there are a ton so take a look here we've got our cardstock obviously um, we've got let's see there's acetate which I think stuck to the back of that yes it did and I've got some cardstock behind that just so you can see but acetate vellum look at that we've got chipboard we've got ribbon so if you want a personalized ribbon for a gift go for it this is leather Plastic. This is like my luggage tag right here. You can foil on that and wood and there are so many more that you can foil on. And the other thing I love about it too is take a look here, Suzanne. This is a block of wood. Look at this gorgeous handwriting. And this cannot go in a machine. It can't go in a foiling machine or your electronic cutting machine. This would be impossible to do unless you had a portable pen like this. No cord, no machine. Super easy. And by the way, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little red light in there. Um, so you know that that pen is on and that it's it's got power, that the batteries are working. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's there and that tells you that it's ready to go. And when that light kind of starts dimming, you know you need to replace your batteries. And we're gonna test to see if we can do that. So. Um, I might not necessarily do all four tests again on these. We're just going to try to get an idea. I'll probably do the freehand test. Um, I might do two or three on each one. So this is just regular cardboard. We're going to try on cardboard because I'm curious to see if it will. Because if it can do wood or chipboard, this should be like no issue at all. So I'm going to kind of cheat and stick it to my table. 
and then just kind of slide the material underneath there. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is for just demo purposes only. So here, I'm gonna, oh, whoops. See, I'm forgetting my own rules. So we're gonna turn it back on, so we have to wait another minute for it to heat up. So in the meantime though, so um, in the past when I have used foil quill, I have had pretty good results with it on my Cricut and Brother machine. Like I said, it's kind of a hit or miss. And I can actually show you a piece that I did. And I did this with my, um, I think it was with my Brother Scan and Cut. So this came out absolutely beautiful. So this is a mandala and it, it's, it's just gorgeous. The detail, it did miss a little bit at the top as you can see right there. But the detail and the intricacy is just stunning. Just stunning. So those work really well for sure. And I love the idea of it. And they do have a couple of different foil products out there. They have, you know, the cold foil that you can do because Diamond Press has those and I haven't tried those yet. And then they have the heat activated foil. And there's so much you can do with heat activated foil. You can use um, a laminator and we can get in that in another video. But there's just so many things you can do with it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, you guys, so I feel like my pen should be ready to go. So we're just gonna write, hello. So I noticed on the H here, I'm gonna go over it again just because I felt like when I first put, maybe I'll just go over the whole word. Um, when I first started to write, I noticed like no, none of the foil came off. So there's hello. And then we're gonna do a tracing. We're just gonna do a star. So we're just gonna do a star. And then this I am gonna color in. Okay. So again, just using medium to light pressure, nothing exciting. If you wanted to, I was thinking about this as I was doing this, when you're done, because you pretty much have the outline right there of the star, I guess you could just go in with your pen if as long as you have the outline of the outside of it, you could go in and try to fill it in a little bit better. Because as I took that tracing paper off, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, that star really pretty much was not filled in at all. Like none of the foil had transferred onto the cardboard. So that looks a little bit better. And then we'll try um, a stencil. So the stencil, um, gosh, I have stars on this one. Let's do a different stencil. Let's do one of the holiday stencils, you guys. So let's see, I um, can do something small. I'll do one of these, one of those little leaves right there. That looks good. Okay. Okay, you guys, let's see. So we'll do, we'll do a little leaf right here. I'm do it right here just so I can try to use up as much of this as possible. So I do like the idea of the stencil. I mean, you could definitely tape the stencil down. I'm not obviously because I'm just doing this for demo purposes, but if you wanted to get it more, a more of a um, detailed look, I would definitely do that. So I'm just going to color this in. And again, if you pull the stencil off and then you're not happy with the transfer of, of how it's looking or you don't feel like there's enough foil put down, I don't know if it would be the same. No, it won't be the same. I thought you'd be able to like, kind of did what we did with the tracing paper, but no. See, I forgot the stem right there. This one, I don't know how this is gonna look, you guys, because I just don't feel like this has as much, I'm gonna move that a little bit. I don't feel like this has as much um, detail in it. Okay, so we did a stencil, we did a traceable paper, and we did the free hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off again so I don't waste the battery. We're gonna lift this up and let's see. So there we go, <clears throat> you can see. So the word hello, the star and the leaf came out. Although the leaf is a little, eh, like I said, there's not a lot of 
differentiation. It could have been user error to me <laughs> not tracing it exactly, but for the most part, I would say that the heat did transfer. So I would say this is a pass on the cardboard. Next, we're going to try some chipboard. So that should be pretty easy because I feel like if it, you know, chipboard essentially is just cardboard, a lot of it glued together to make a thicker piece. So this is a piece that I did uh, probably a year and a half ago and I cut out, it's a strawberry. If you guys are wondering like what it is. And what I did is I used some, um, like a gel transfer uh, type paste, medium paste. And I put some foil on it and then uh, put a stencil to make the design and then I put some foil in and ripped it off. So um, it was one of my very first projects that I've done something like this on. And it, I mean, it came out okay. I wasn't really going for color. I just wanted to see what it would look like. And it's, it's a very interesting piece and I obviously haven't used it, but I wanted to keep it just for reference. And then, you know, over the last year and a half, touching it, none of it's coming off or rubbing off. I thought it was great. So we're gonna use the back of this to test but I have a feeling the results are probably going to be pretty similar because like I said, if it could stick on cardboard, it's definitely going to stick on chipboard because chipboard is essentially almost the same thing, just thicker. So I'm going to turn my pen back on and you guys don't have to do this step. Like I said, I'm just doing this step because sometimes if you're talking or if you're busy doing something else you don't realize that your pen is on and that is draining the battery so before i actually started this demonstration i replaced the batteries so i would get the full potential of the pen so there was no like oh it didn't work or it didn't heat up due to me um not it not having enough power because i didn't change the battery so i wanted to make sure that i did that <clears throat> okay so let's see, maybe a little longer. We can wait just another minute. But again, I think this is a very uh, versatile and really cool concept of a tool to use. And I like the idea of being able to write on different mediums. That's really cool. And that's, <clears throat> that's one of the things that drew me to it. And that's very appealing to me. Okay, you guys, so this one, let's see. We're going to write um what are we going to write let's write birthday so i can already see that i don't feel like the pen is hot enough because of um when i'm starting to write in the beginning here so i'm going to go over it again to give it a fair judgment birthday there and then well, let's see, we're gonna do, let's do a seasonable, traceable image. Look, there's a strawberry, how ironic. Yeah, let's do the strawberry, you guys. I'll do the outline of the strawberry. So, Gonna do the leaves right here. I'm gonna go around. This will pro probably be kind of a wonky strawberry, only because I'm obviously not very good at tree stain. <laughs> so, not a whole lot of detail. We're just gonna kind of put a little dots. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Um, it's your creation. It doesn't have to exactly look like a picture. So this one I can kind of already see um, just by taking off the, I'm just gonna kind of go over it again because I can see the outline of the image. And that's something that you, um, especially if you're gonna use a tra tracing paper, I would recommend only because like I said, I don't know how much heat transfer actually goes through that paper. I wouldn't think a lot. On some of the images, especially if you're gonna use some of the bigger images like the bunny right here or the rainbow, I definitely think that would be important, especially if you want that to come out. Okay, so we got a couple of dots there. Okay, so let's do another um, holiday stencil. So, oops. Let me just, oh, I'm already peeking at the end result. Okay, let's do, we'll do the arrow. I think that's fun. We'll do the arrow. 
I do like the stencils, you guys. I have to say that because I like the fact that I can see what I'm doing versus the tracing paper is cool. I just don't like the idea that, you know, you're, you're tracing, but definitely doesn't look like for me, from what I'm looking the couple times that I've used the tracing, definitely doesn't look like the picture. Kind of looks like the picture, but like, you know, a very horrible version of it in my eyes. Not all of them, you know, obviously, but just some of the ones that I've done. So I'm gonna do these lines really well. So you guys can see, sorry if my hand's in the way, but you're gonna see the end result here in a minute. I'm just holding that down. And I'm gonna color the end of this in so we can get that foil transfer down really well. I'm gonna have to say, you guys, I think the stencils and the free hands probably my favorite so far. Okay, and here is the result. So don't write, mind my double blurred handwriting there. So again, the birthday, let's go ahead and shut this off. So the birthday um, came out okay. Hold on, you guys, okay, sorry. So the birthday came out okay. Um, maybe it's just not hot enough or I didn't press down hot, hard enough. Um, the strawberry actually came out pretty good, but I feel like it came out better after I took off the tracing paper and basically outlined it again freehand. And then the stencil came out fantastic. I did miss a little piece right there, but I did like the stencil and how that came out. So it is a pass for the chipboard. So now let's go a little bit more delicate, you guys. Let's try vellum. Now I was debating on using this piece of vellum because it's so beautiful. But hey, you know, I haven't used it yet, so it's okay. This is a gorgeous vellum that I are, um, um, ordered off of AliExpress, I think during Christmas. So it comes in a package like this. Uh, I'll try to find the link if you guys are interested. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It wasn't knowing what, knowing what to expect, but um, I do like it. The size is a little small. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but a lot of the listings they have are in centimeters or millimeters. So you need to get yourself a little trusty um, conversion app like I have. You can get it on your Android, your Apple, whatever. But um, so always make sure if you're gonna order from a site like that, that you're doing the conversion because it may not be the size you think it will be. But anyways, so this is beautiful vellum. So we're gonna try on this one. So I think I'm gonna generally put it in this area. Again, it doesn't really matter because this is for demo purposes. So let's see, let's turn it back on and let's think of a nice word. What's a word that we could use? All right, you guys, so I'm gonna try this on the vellum. I am going to write the word heart. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna try to get a good, there we go, okay. So I'm gonna write the word heart. Probably gonna go over it a little bit, just so it's, I think on the next thing, yeah, this is gonna be double again. So the next one I do, the next uh, medium we do, I think I'm just gonna write it once, just to see what it looks like, you guys, to see if it comes out. Okay, so we're gonna try one of our tracing designs, and this one I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit smaller, just because of the size of this. So let's see, I guess we could do another star because I have a lot of those. Um, no, let's do, yeah, I don't have too much room. No, let's do a heart. So I'm gonna do this heart right here. I probably won't do the outside, I'm just gonna do the heart itself. And I'm gonna kind of try to place it, okay, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trace this heart, or try to trace it. And let's go ahead and fill this one in. So I'm gonna trace it again. I'm gonna take the paper off. So we have the basic outline of the heart there and I'm just gonna go over it again here because I can see kind of where it skips, where the foil has not laid down on the vellum. So I think this part, I have to say, is probably my least favorite, <laughs> having to kind of um, color it in only because um, 
with foil, as you can obviously see, it skips a lot because you're making a circular motion or even if you did a scribbling motion. And you can, you can see for the most part what you're getting, but it's not gonna be perfect because it's not gonna be all of it, in my opinion. I mean, you possibly could, but you'd probably have to spend a lot of time on it getting every piece of foil that's in here in, within the design. So I'm just going to do, like I said, the majority and see how it comes out. So I think you guys, as you can see, I have pretty much, well, I have a lot of the foil colored in, so to speak. Okay. Okay. So from what I can see overhead, the majority of it's filled in. See, it's interesting when I look in the camera, I can see spots that I can't see up close, it's probably just the way the light is, is hitting it. See, there's a couple of pieces there. I'm just gonna try to get it as much as I can. Okay, so that should be good enough. So we're gonna see how it works on vellum. I'm gonna shut this off. Let's lift it up. All right. Oh, I forgot to do the stencil. We'll do that in a second. Okay, so, so far, you guys, heart, but with my double, there we go. My, because I went over it. And then the heart, like, see how, I mean, it's cute how the heart came out. But you see all the little, the little um, swirly lines. So I am happy with that, actually. I'm, I'm very pleased with how that came out. So we're gonna kind of put the heart back right in its place. Let's do a stencil. So, um, let's do, let's see you guys, let's do, let's do a flower. There's a little flower here. We'll do this flower. See, now I gotta turn it back on. So, give me a second while this heats up again. All right, you guys, that should be long enough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this flower. I'm gonna kind of start down here, kind of color it in, color my stencil in. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. It's about the middle of the day where I am. It's about, I think it's like 12.30 in the afternoon here. I am in Nevada, for those of you wondering. So I am in the West Coast, on the West Coast here just enjoying my day. I went and I got some um, plants today. I went to Lowe's and I got some cilantro and I got some sweet bell peppers to plant because I usually try to plant a garden every year and I usually plant cucumbers and tomatoes and the first year I planted it which was like a couple years ago I had such a bountiful harvest I kid you not I had so much so many cucumbers and bell peppers and tomatoes I did not want to know what to do with them I had to give them away and I froze some and then I made of course lots of <laughs> lots of cucumber dishes and used a lot of my peppers and it was wonderful it was wonderful so um I didn't do a garden for the last two years because we got a new puppy about a year and a half, two years ago, and she was just so destructive and just ate everything. So um, so this is the first year I planted again in two years. So I'm excited for all my little herbs and vegetables to grow. All right, you guys, that's pretty good. I mean, I think I've worn that foil down quite a bit. Okay. So let's see, I'm expecting the result to be pretty similar to the heart. It looks like it, it is. Pull this off, probably throw this away. Yeah, so this is, let's see, you guys see it? So this is definitely a pass. So we have, again, you just have the swirlies. Um, you could go over it longer if you wanted to. Um, whatever you wanted to do. So it did pass on the vellum. So uh, this time I'm just gonna leave my pen on just because I'm switching uh, mediums so quickly. 
All right, you guys, the next medium we have is acetate. So I kind of uh, just stopped the video for a second. I was actually gonna get another piece of foil, but I'm still gonna try to use up these bits right here. So acetate is the one I really would like to see. Acetate, wood, and plastic. So those are the three that I really wanna see if it can um, transfer onto. So in this one, I'm going to write joy. So just right here. So I did not turn my pen off, just so you know. In this, just because like I said, we're switching mediums so quickly. And I know I said I wasn't going to, to go over it, but okay. So the rest of the lettering, I'm not I'm just gonna write it like that. But like I said, I can already see it skipping. So that I'm kind of disappointed in, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna touch it. And then let's see, I'm gonna have to move it a little bit. I'm not gonna peek at what that looks like. I just need to move it up. So again, you guys just be very careful with the tip of that pen right there because it is extremely hot and you don't wanna burn yourself with that. Okay, so this is kind of, okay. So I'm gonna use this bottom piece here. So we're gonna to have to do something small for the tracing on this one. So let's see, I have, I guess I can do a star, another star, or no, I have a leaf, let's do a leaf. So I have a leaf right here. So we'll do a small leaf. So I'm gonna put that right there. Now, if you're not going to be switching mediums, if you're gonna do something that's consistent, then yeah, by all means, leave your pen on. But if you're gonna be switching in between projects, it's gonna be you know more than five minutes, I would recommend turning it off only because you don't want to um, have your battery drain. Okay. So this one, I'm not going to color in. I'm just going to do the outline. Kind of do it again there. And then another good idea for this, I think would be if you've got rechargeable batteries so you don't go through them so quick, that'd be really good for this pen. Okay, so can already see some issues, probably user error, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to outline this. Okay, looks good. And then last, we'll do one of our stencils. So I'm gonna need a small one for this too, you guys, just cause I don't, I'm running out of room, but I just wanted to use it all up. I didn't wanna just throw the foil away. So let's do, um, we'll do an acorn and then we'll color that one in completely. So we're gonna do that acorn right here. I could have swore I just saw a gnat fly by me. But that would make sense only because I had my back door open earlier when I was watering my garden. So, I don't know you guys, I kind of have an issue with that. Let me make sure it didn't, it's in the same place. Yeah, I kind of have an issue with that. I don't want to color that in uh, because it moved, that's one reason. And then just because, I wanna, yeah, I should color it in. I hope it's in the same spot. Okay, we guess we'll see. Just because of the type of design it is, I feel like it's going to lose um, the, the outline of it, if you know what I mean. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. The foil doesn't seem to be transferring as well as the previous mediums that I was using. And I don't know if it's because acetate or I'm not sure. I can see it coming off, but it's it's just not like the best. It's not really, it's not coming off as easy as um, it did previously. Okay, so I'm not gonna do like try to do like it major. I'm just gonna try to do the majority of it, but it's not gonna be perfect for sure. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, so let's see what it looks like, you guys. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So let's see. So there's my word that did not come out. The J came out because I went over it again. The O and the Y did not come out, kind of kind of skipped. So on the bottom here, if you guys can see, it's kind of hard because it's clear. So the leaf came out really well, but I did go over it again. And then the acorn, sorry, it's hard to see because it's so clear. The acorn came out, but when I tried to fill in the color, not so much. You guys see that right there? So on acetate, I would definitely say it does work, but I would not advise coloring objects in. I just don't feel like it did a good, great, that great of a job on acetate. Okay, so for the next medium, give me just a second, I'm gonna pull out some more foil and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm back. So the next uh, medium I wanted to test was plastic. So I actually found like a pack of these at Goodwill and they're, I guess they're like luggage tags slash bookmarks or whatever you wanted to use them for. At the time I was, I didn't know what they were for, but I thought, oh, well I could use them for something. Um, they have like a little hole there you can see in there that you could punch out and then you can make it some type of gift tag or luggage tag or a bookmark, like I said. So in the demonstration on HSN, they said that you can use it on plastic, specifically like a luggage tag. So we're gonna see if it can do it on this. So I got my piece of foil. We're just gonna kind of, let me try to use the top of that more. We're just gonna place that over. And try to make it taut so it doesn't move. And I am obviously failing at this, so give me just a second, you guys, to straighten this out. Okay. So, okay, there we go. I mean, not perfect, but okay. Okay, so we're gonna see, let's see. I'm going to write, what's another happy? Let's write happy. I'm gonna write happy here. So I'm gonna start over here again. So I can already see that it's not transferring here. So let me just make sure this is on. And it is on, okay with the bright LED lights I have right here, it's kind of hard to see the red light. The red light will be continuously on, you guys, when the, the pen is on, just to let you know. Ooh, definitely is on, just burn my fingers, okay. So we're gonna write happy, and I can already see um, that this is not transferring with the first pass, nor my second pass right here, but that's okay, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. And then let's do a traceable element. So let's do, we'll do a gift box. So we're gonna do the gift box. We're just gonna do the outline in the gift box. So here, we're just gonna try to do, you know, a lot of the tracing here. See what it looks like. When I'm tracing, it's probably just because of the paper. It kind of feels like it's going through, but um, you can't tell until you lift it up until you can see if the tracing, like if there's a tracing that got put down when you're doing this, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to, to tell when you're doing it. It feels like it is because you're putting pressure on the paper, but that's not necessarily the case. So we're going to see right here. Okay, so as you can see, if you guys can see that, not really seeing that. Yeah, I can barely even see the outline. So I'm gonna go over it again freehand, and then I'm gonna see how much of it I can get on here. But yeah, just lifting the tracing paper up, definitely not seeing that image there. Seeing a lot more as I'm freehanding this. But after all, it is called a cordless freehand pen, right? <laughs> so it's kind of at the bottom here. Again, does not have to be perfect, you guys, for this demonstration. I just want to get the basics so you can see if it will actually transfer. 
I'll be surprised if it transfers, to be honest. I think if it does, it'll be very broken up. I just don't feel like it's gonna be like what we want it to be. Okay, so that's the present. Now let's do a stencil. So I wanna do, on this one, I'm gonna do something I can color in. So, let's see, it's a popsicle. Let's do the ice cream cone. So I'm gonna do the ice cream cone. So I'm trying to get the outline right here, but I can see you guys, it's not really taking very well. I kind of have to push, I have to put a little bit more pressure, I noticed, with the plastic. So you might have to do that if you wanna do this on plastic. But again, we're gonna see how it comes out. And then I have a feeling, just like with the acetate, could be wrong, we'll find out after this, I have a feeling like <clears throat> you're gonna have to apply more pressure, but I think you're also going to have to, um, it's gonna be one where the outline's good on the plastic, but not this is necessarily like me trying to fill it in like I am right now. I can already see like a lot of it's not transferring. And I am putting an immense amount of pressure on it. It's actually making my hand hurt. <laughs> but because it's plastic, it's a thicker material than, um, the paper-based materials, I think it's um, a little harder to do. And I can just see, oh, that hurts you guys. My hands are cramping up. <laughs> so I can already see that you're gonna have to have a lot of hand strength. So for those of you that have arthritis, this would probably not be the best material to try this on because it will make your hand hurt. So like I said, I'm not gonna try to color it in completely. I'm just gonna do enough so we can see the image to see if it did. But I have a feeling it's gonna be just like the acetate. It's not gonna transfer very well. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna take that off. Just kind of peel it up from the sides there. And okay, let's see. Oops, see I ripped some of that tape off, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so here is the plastic sleeve. So as you can see, Happy kind of came out. It actually came out better than I thought. Um, on here, it didn't look like it came out very well at all. And then you have the outline of the present there, and then you have the ice cream cone. It didn't come out terrible. It did come out actually better than the plastic, the acetate. So I was really surprised. I didn't think it was going to come out that good. And then it's cool to the touch as soon as you're done, you guys. It's cool to the touch. It feels, has a little texture to it, but I'm kind of move back and forth so you can see. So this actually did a little bit better than the acetate. So actually impressed with this. So you do have to apply a lot of pressure when you're doing the, um, if you're doing plastic, just an FYI. Okay, you guys, so the last medium we are going to test is wood. So I just bought this, it's a little pe cheap piece of wood that I bought at the dollar store. So this would be, um, this would be like, like you could probably cut this in your Cricut. So it is pretty thin, like balsa wood. So I'm going to just put that right on here. So that was one of the demonstrations that kind of blew me away that they had this beautiful plaque that they had made and uh, the demonstrator was saying how amazing it was because, you know, you can't put wood in a machine, so to speak, you know? And for the most part, um, the piece, the plaque that she showed, and I'll actually put a clip of it in here so you can see it. You'll see a few of the clips in here. Um, was a very thick piece of wood so this um, is a block of wood look at this gorgeous handwriting and this cannot go in a machine it can't go in a foiling machine or your electronic cutting machine this would be impossible to do unless you had a portable pen like this no cord no machine super easy i was really surprised this is super thin so we'll see if it takes you guys but i was just thinking when i saw it like and it was perfect, so I was like, eh, I don't know, you know. Okay, so on this one, you guys, let's see. We're gonna write, 
we're gonna write me because it is me oh, you know what I might have to kind of make this taut place it back down my tape's getting all funky okay okay so I'm going to write the me I'm just using medium pressure I can see that it's going right through which is a good sign and then we're going to do let's see you guys we'll do a butterfly let me just make sure it fits okay so that should fit hopefully okay so I'm just doing about medium pressure again, not too hard. I'm just going to trace my butterfly here. Oh. Not very good at tracing, you guys. <laughs> and then... And then if you're doing these type of projects, like if it's something that you really want to be precise in, you can definitely tape these things down. It would help that so they don't move. So that's completely up to you. Or you can, if you're very good at drawing, you could just freehand it. Probably do a lot better job than I'm showing you right now. And you wouldn't have to use these traceable elements. But for those of us who can't draw and our handwriting isn't good, this would be a good alternative here. So I'm just doing the body here. Okay, so I got pretty much most of it, but I'm probably gonna go over um, again like I did the other one. So I kind of went through the ice cream cone there, you guys, sorry. So you would definitely um, just make sure you have enough surface area when you're using the traceable um, elements so because you can't see through it. So like you don't want to go through another image you did if you're using the same piece of foil like I just did. But if you're using a clean piece of foil, then it doesn't matter. But so there's our butterfly. And then we can do, let's see, we'll do a stencil. Let's do a Halloween stencil. Let's do, I gotta do something small, you guys. We'll do a bat, how's that? Okay, we'll do a bat. Right about there. And we're gonna color this one in so we can see it. Um, so I do notice with the wood, by just applying, like I said, the medium pressure here, I can see most of it coming off. And I do like that. It's good. So again, you guys, this I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, it was a dollar. So I bought like a few of these. I had plans to make whatever with them, and then I just haven't done it. So I had like a heart, an acre, and a few other ones that I purchased probably a couple months ago. I think I was going to use this for Valentine's Day and it just it didn't happen. So <laughs> I know lots of us there we buy a lot of stuff for potential projects and then it just doesn't get done because we're so overwhelmed with whatever. That's one thing I'm really trying to do you guys. I'm actually trying not to shop at all because I have so much product and I've done very few tutorials and I just have so many tutorials I could do because I have so much stuff so that's what I'll be focusing on. I will do a couple of preview products but as I do the preview products of what I've purchased I'm going to be doing tutorials on them too because that's why I bought them right so I could use them. Okay so the bat seemed to transfer really well so I'm going to shut this off since that is the last medium I am going to test and I want to change the the um, the tip so we can try the the fine point tip. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Okay. So this actually came out very well, as you can see right there. Um, have the word May. We have our Halloween bat, and it feels really nice. It actually took very well. And then the butterfly. I there was just a couple pieces that were skipped, but again, that was probably just user error. And this is the the traceable element there. So the wood is definitely, um, I would say I would approve the wood. The wood actually came out probably the best besides, um, the cardstock was pretty decent. And then the, the cardboard actually came out really well too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back the cardstock and we're gonna try, I'm gonna find a place on there. <laughs> 
right there. And then we're gonna switch, I'm gonna switch the tip out. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. So I did wanna switch the tip out in front of you so you could see. So I obviously just turned this off maybe, you know, 30, 40 seconds ago. So it is still very hot. So just be very cautious of when you're using this because it can burn your fingers. So I'm gonna use a towel. This is like one of my, as you can see, has all the ink on my stamp towels. And you're actually gonna take this whole piece off. This piece does not come out. The whole thing is gonna untwist. So you can wait for it to cool down. You can just twist it off like I'm going to do right now. Just make sure you don't burn your fingers in the process. And then you can kind of see the batteries right there, okay? And then the little piece that it connects to. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And then we're going to put our fine point piece in. So with this, you kind of want to push down and then twist it until you can't see the threads anymore. And then we're going to turn it back on. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to see if you can see the red light. So I can't see the red light in this light because it's so bright, but I can see it when I pull it away from the light. So that is on. So we're just going to give it just a minute to heat up because it is a different tip. And I will be right back as that heats up, okay, you guys? All right, you guys, I'm back. So I feel like I, I gave it adequate time to heat up. So on this one, I wanted to kind of go straight to, I'll actually write a word, but I wanted to go straight to um, the stencil first because I found this beautiful snowflake. You can see right here. So I'll do the smaller one because it's a little bit finer. So I don't know if that really makes a difference, but I think, you know, the fine tip points Maybe it would, but I'm thinking no, because I'm not really gonna color this in. I'm just gonna kind of give it a good burnishing with the uh, tip. And all it is, you guys, a fine point tip, I think it's uh, self-explanatory. It just kind of um, gives it a finer line, so to speak, instead of the more, <coughs> the, the bolder line. And from what I can see, I really like the way it's gonna what it, how it's transferring as far as I don't know how it's gonna look but the transferring I can see it that the foil is transfer, transferring very easily onto the cardstock oh, okay so that's our snowflake so let's go ahead and take a look at that because I'm gonna have to move the foil anyway oh that came out great you guys look at that So there's the snowflake and I do like it because it almost looks like I drew it because it's not perfect as you can see but you can see some of that detail in there so I do like that I do like the fine point I can see how it makes a difference there so I'm gonna go ahead and write and then we're gonna compare so this was the the normal tip that it came with and we're gonna see I'll do it actually right next to it And then I'm gonna choose what, I'm gonna write angel. Okay. All right, you guys, so here it is. Here's angel and here's love. So as you can see in the line, it is a little bit thicker. Angel is a little bit finer. It comes out more like a, like a, um, a ballpoint pen there and then let's see I'm sure I have a little bit of room which I do <laughs> I'm trying to use it all you guys use all the foil do not waste if you can we're gonna do a tiny or a small traceable element with a fine tip here I have a perfect one I have another acorn but this one actually has a little bit more detail so we're gonna do the small acorn Um, I wouldn't recommend coloring with the fine tip unless it's a very, very small area just because see like I can already because of the pressure I'm putting because it is a finer t point tip I can it is like ripping the paper so like I said I wouldn't apply too much pressure and I definitely would not recommend um, coloring the 
picture in if you're going to use the tracing paper because this already ripped my acorn right there okay so again with a lot of the tracing ones we did earlier um, I'm going to go over it again freehand because I don't feel that it transferred very well so let's go ahead and see what that now I'm going to click it off okay so let's see what this one looks like so not too bad I can see some of the impression from me actually pushing putting a little maybe too much pressure with the fine tip and I can see kind of like the double lines of the second tracing that I did so the fine tip I would suggest only for something very uh, something dainty and very very lines that would be very small like the snowflake this wasn't too bad um, but again it's because I use the tracing paper and I just don't feel like the tracing paper it's not terrible but it would be better with the standard tip instead of the fine point tip so overall you guys would I recommend this product it is kind of a toss-up um, if foiling is something that you like to do and you're a great artist you have beautiful handwriting I would say yes or if you just like to add foil elements to your projects I do like the idea of this product I don't think obviously it is perfected I think um, if you buy just the foil quill it comes with the sheets but it is a little pricey I think for what they charge you I don't think it's worth it because with tax it comes out to be like $36 so do I think it's worth $36? No. <laughs> this is something that should be like on sale for $19.95 or $15 and I would say yes. But overall, I do like it. I mean, it did beautifully on a lot of the mediums that we, we did. Like I do like it on the cardboard. The acetate, I do like the look of it. But again, it's only for outline. I don't think that you should try to color anything in because I don't think it would come out. And then the chipboard did very well, just like the cardboard, except my double tracing there. So that one did really well. The vellum actually surprised me. The vellum did very well too. So it did really come out very well on vellum. And then the cardstock, of course, and then uh, the wood came out very good too. So I do like it on the wood. And then the plastic, it actually came out pretty decent so the acetate for me was probably the one it didn't come out the best on and um, as far as the traceable element um, elements I like the idea of them so this is from the sentiment kit and I'm just gonna go right over this and for this I'm gonna add just a little bit more pressure and go a little bit more slowly because the paper's on top of the foil, but it's going to turn out beautiful. Right. And I would say if you can freehand something or the stencils, the stencils work beautifully. I do like the stencils a lot. Like I said, these, I just don't think the heat transfers all the way through very well. So maybe that's why you have a hard time. If you trace it and then go back over it again, like I did, your results might be good. But I'm going to probably have to do a video on cold foiling too, because I've never done that. So I'd actually like to see how that turns out. But thank you guys for joining me in my beautiful mess today. Let me know your thoughts on this product. Do you have it? Do you like it? Or is it something that you would use? And do you think it's worth $36? So in saying that, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.